Hello. <clears throat> Welcome, everyone. Thanks for joining me today. Um, today, I'm going to talk about, <coughs> excuse me, a huge mistake that I see bloggers making. Um, and I myself, um, this is, you know, there are certain mistakes I think that are just super easy to make. Um, and this is one of those. So um, I myself have struggled with this one. So I wanted to share it with you in case um, you're a blogger or thinking about starting a blog so you don't make this mistake. Hello, Jessica. So glad to have you. Um, so if you guys want to introduce yourself, um, if you just want to briefly tell me um, whether um, if you're brand new, like haven't started a blog, brand new, or been blogging a while, I would, I would love to know um, kind of who we have in the audience. Um, and if you don't know who I am, I'm Laura. I blog at iHeart Cleaners. Um, I started about three years ago. Um, not a blogger, okay. Um, I started about three years ago, and um, it now provides a full-time income for my husband and I and our daughter and one on the way. Um, so it's been a great, I love it. Um, and it's been a great adventure. And I've made a lot of, um, I've done a few things, fortunately, right? But I've also made a lot of mistakes. And I definitely want to share that with you. Um, if you are, um, if you're not already on my blogging email list, I send out little tips and blogging advice. And I also tell you the top five things I learned my first couple years in blogging. Uh, you can sign up at iheartplanners.com backslash entrepreneur. Um, welcome, so glad to have you. And um, this will, most of my scopes are pretty short and this will probably be no exception. Um, I like to get to the point and um, not take up too much of your time. So, okay, so one of the big mistakes that I see bloggers making that's very easy to make is um, focusing too much on page views. And um, if you're brand new, page views just is a metric that kind of measures how many times a page is loaded on your blog. So if a visitor comes, you know, types in your blog or comes from Pinterest, that's one page view. If they click on something else, that's another. And so that's one of the most popular met metrics. If anybody wants to know um, something about how big your blog is, they'll say how many pages, you know. Um, so it's really easy to get bogged down in that and to think um, you want to get as many page views as possible and to focus on that goal. And there's nothing wrong. I mean, page views are nice and helpful and it'd be kind of hard to blog if you've had none of those. Um, but they are not the ultimate goal of blogging. I mean, nobody really, I think, um, thinks, yeah, nobody really thinks that that is the number one goal. When you started to blog, you didn't think, oh, I want a bunch of page views. You probably thought, oh, I want to share my passion. Oh, I want to help people. And maybe you thought I want to make an income working from home, but you didn't think I want a bunch of page views. So we need to, um, oh, you used to look at page views like every hour. Yes. That's another one I could lump in with this is obsessively checking stats. Um, I definitely, I think it's really hard, especially in the beginning, um, not to obsess over stats. And I honestly, I do not look at them. I mean, I will go four or five weeks without even looking. Um, and I think that, that that's actually good, healthy, because you just can't get bogged down in the hour by hour, day by day. It's not probably the best use of your time. But the reason I think focusing on too much on page views is a mistake is sometimes we sacrifice other things that are more important. Like the most important thing for me is to create a relationship with my reader, hopefully one that lasts, that they want to come back and to um, help them and also to get them... Um, on my email list and that helps them um, return so I can keep in contact with them. So sometimes it can be um, really uh, when I when they subscribe to my email list often um, that's kind of the last thing they do and so I could probably get a few more page views if instead of putting a little um, opt-in box to subscribe to my email list at the end of a post I put um, something about excuse me something about checking out other posts or something like that Okay, yeah, that's healthy. Um, she says she's two years into her Etsy store and she only looks at them every few days to a week. Yeah, that, that's a more um, reasonable um, time to look at them. And I think stats are important. They do tell us something, but they're not everything. So I think definitely don't worry so much about page views. Um, and, and even if you are really focused on metrics, that is not the most important one. I look mostly at my um, email newsletter growth. So how many am I getting new subscribers? Um, along with that, I include my open rate because it really doesn't matter how many subscribers you have if they don't actually um, see your email. Um, 
and things like that. I do not obsess very much, worry about my page views. And I mean, if your blog is a model of you primarily make your income through display ads, you're going to need to worry about that a little more. Although I think um, these days it's very rare for, especially if you're starting out, you're newer right now, to, it's very rare for bloggers to make a good, especially a full-time income from display ads alone. So you're probably going to need either affiliate marketing or your own products or something like that. And for that, you know, page views really aren't that important. Honestly, also another thing is my main motivation when I send out a newsletter is not to get people to click to my blog and get page views that way. Um, sometimes I do send them to my blog. I think it's a better reading experience and that's fine, but that's not my main motivation. My main motivation is to create a relationship with them and help them. And um, especially another time you should not chase page views is if you are um, selling a product, um, I want to make it as easy as, as possible for someone to purchase. And so, um, for example, on most sales pages you see where there's someone selling something, they don't even have a sidebar where you can click on a bunch of stuff. Um, all you can do is say, I want to buy this. Um, or in an email that I send out, I don't send them to my blog, I just send them straight to purchase. So that's one mistake I think is really easy to make and I just wanted to share that with you in case um, it's something that you're tempted to focus too much on um, instead of worrying about other important stats. So thank you.